Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the DC TV shows. We've got some major breaking news about Black Lightning that we have to go over. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so the big news is in regards to Black Lightning and what is going on with the show because it has just been announced by a variety that the show will be ending with its upcoming season, season 4. So they have actually started filming this, they're filming it in Atlanta. I'm not actually as aware as to how far they are along in this season. I'm presuming they're at least like two episodes in, maybe three. And so yeah, this is a surprise, but at the same time not a big surprise because we got the recent confirmation that Painkiller, the new spin-off show off of Black Lightning, was just confirmed. And it's been showrun by the same showrunner as Black Lightning. That either indicated that Black Lightning's showrunner was going to leave the show and just join Painkiller. And we could presume either, yeah, the show is ending or someone else is going to replace him as the main lead showrunner of the show. But it turns out that Black Lightning is set to end with Season 4 on The CW. So, yeah, it's a pretty early ending for a CW Arrowverse show. However, I mean, it was to be expected, kind of, because, yes, I think in the instance of Black Lightning, it didn't pull in as much as they wanted, but they kept it on for four seasons, and I'm impressed by that. Kind of waiting to hear on Legends of Tomorrow right now, because that didn't do very good numbers over the last few seasons. And I've got a feeling this is actually a bit more to do with the ratings and to do with the showrunner, rather than to do with Cress Williams, unlike with what happened with Supergirl, because Supergirl, their contracts was coming to an end, and it was Melissa's decision to end the show, but in this, they don't mention much about Cress in the statement, it's all coming from the showrunner, whereas Melissa and Supergirl's statement was all about, oh, we all came together, and, you know, Melissa's idea was to end it right here, and this is what we're going to do. So, potentially, something might have happened behind the scenes. However, I don't think it's anything that controversial. I think it's just more of a decision on behalf of the showrunner rather than Chris Williams himself. So, I guess it's a bit of a different situation. However, we need to emphasize that Black Lightning has not been cancelled. And I've seen a lot of articles go up already and people tweeting, like... Black Lightning cancelled, Black Lightning cancelled. No, Black Lightning is ending. And yes, it may be different from Supergirl ending because that was more Melissa's decision. This doesn't mean that the CW cancelled it because it did well enough to keep on for four seasons, you have to remember. Okay, so this is how the article goes on Variety. Black Lightning will end its run on the CW after its upcoming season four. Based on the DC character of the same name, Black Lightning centers around Jefferson Pierce. A high school principal who was forced to don his superhero suit once again after several years of retirement when a local gang arises and recruits one of their star students. And so this is the quote from the showrunner. He says, When we first started the Black Lightning journey, I knew Jefferson Pierce and his family, a powerful black woman, would be a unique addition to the superhero game. Executive producer Salim Akil said in a statement, then he goes on to say, the love that Bloods and all comic book fans around the globe have shown the series over the past three seasons have proved what we imagine black people want to see themselves in all their complexities. Then he goes on to say, news of the series ending comes after a week since the CW ordered a backdoor pilot for a potential spin-off centered around the painkiller character. Jordan Calloway will star in this project with a kill writing, executive producing, and directing the pilot. Obviously, that is a big thing, which I just mentioned that a kill is actually running the show, aka he is executive producing, he's writing as well, but he's also directing, so he's got a big hand in this spin off. So it's going to be a lot of responsibility for him, and there is no way that he can run two shows at the same time. So, like I said, it's either they were going to replace him and have Black Lightning continue onwards, or they were going to bring the show to an end, and I think it was more of his decision. He goes on to say thank you to the phenomenal cast, writers, and crew, without whom none of this would have been possible. A kill continued. I'm incredibly proud of the work we've been able to do and the moments we've been able to create in bringing DC's first African American family or superheroes to life for the culture. I'm very grateful to Peter Roth, Warner Brothers TV, 
Mark Pedowitz, the CW, and Greg Belanti for their partnership and support of my vision at every step of this journey. While season four may be the end of one journey, I'm extremely excited to usher in a new chapter and continue collaboration with the CW as we tell the story of Painkiller. So yeah, that is the article in regards to the announcement that Black Lightning is ending, and it seems he's very excited about Painkiller, and he's pretty reassured that it's gonna go ahead, even though right now, they are setting up a backdoor pilot for an episode in season four, obviously now the final season of Black Lightning, and yeah, so it's obviously up in the air because, you know, the last backdoor pilot that went through to series, you know, it's happened a couple of times, you know, Legends, really with the crossover, and then you had the flashback way at the start of Arrow. But more recently, something that hasn't gone through that they promised would go through is Green Arrow and the Canaries. They had a backdoor pilot in Arrow's final season as well. So is it going to be a similar situation to that where they're very optimistic and it just doesn't go ahead? But it seems he's got the support of the CW and it's probably, you know, written into the contract in the new show that they're probably writing up right now. That basically with Black Lightning ending, they would continue the story, but just with Painkiller rather than Jefferson Pierce and Black Lightning itself. So it's just a kind of new chapter he's trying to say in the Black Lightning story, and I think that's interesting. So what does this mean overall for all of the Arrowverse shows? Well, I've talked about this over the last week or so. I was expecting this, especially since the announcement that it would come soon. I kind of suspected that season 4 may be Black Lightning's last season, and those suspicions came true. Especially given the precedent of Arrow ending and then now Supergirl ending, you know, it's kind of making way for these new shows, and especially with this new spin-off announced of Black Lightning, you're like, yeah, this is gonna come pretty soon. Also, we have to discuss ratings, as Black Lightning was not the most popular show, and it did struggle at times for views compared to some of the rest of the Arrowverse shows. Yes, I'm aware about Legends, and I think their fate is very up in the air right now, considering this announcement. However, yes, it wasn't the most viewed show, but it was beloved, and it did have a big fan base and it called out to a lot of people and yes they might not be your normal Arrowverse crowd where everyone is flocking to Black Lightning rather than say The Flash or something you know it's still got a huge fan base and I think this is a shame I think this is a loss of CW and I think it's good that at least they have Painkiller still going it's a different style of Arrowverse show that I think they need and yes it may not be the most viewed Arrowverse show out there, but I think it's one of the most important Arrowverse shows out there. And so, obviously you have the new era of the Arrowverse ushering in, you've got Superman Lois coming this year, we have Stargirl joining the Arrowverse as well, for season 2 especially, and then also along with that you just had the recent announcements of Painkiller, we talked about that in this video, and I would say most importantly, we have Wonder Girl. That is a big thing and a big step forward for the CW and in terms of their representation, obviously Black Lightning was a big step forward for that and especially in terms of that and I think these next wave of shows are gonna do kind of the same thing similar to what Black Lightning did. So even though it's sad, I think this is, you know, a small sign even with a lot of the main Justice League characters that they set up in Crisis most of their shows are leaving, obviously The Flash is still on and will be on for at least the next, you know, <laughs> four or five years or so, I hope. We're going to be seeing a lot of new shows and there's not going to be many that long running shows apart from The Flash and if Legends keeps on going past these seasons and you will have a lot of new shows. So it's going to be like a whole new Arrowverse and I'm interested to see if any of our characters from the original kind of Arrowverse characters, and I do include Black Lightning in that now, in any of those upcoming future crossovers when, say, Black Lightning ends. And will Black Lightning cross over in its final season? Very, very likely, considering they are planning a Batwoman and Superman and Lois crossover, and I would say Black Lightning is for sure going to show up similar to Supergirl. Just wouldn't make sense considering that the shows are ending to not include them. So what do you guys think about all of this? Let me know in the comments down below. I am excited for Painkiller, I'm excited for the new shows that are coming, but it is at the same time very sad that we're seeing a lot of our original Arrowverse shows in the past, you know, four to five years, 
and beyond obviously including Arrow having to end their runs but at least they're not getting cancelled. So anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see room.